Charlotte is one of the more tactful journalists out there. I don't have anything negative to say about her. Unlike some, she doesn't ambush me with her camera on my way to work, or follow me to the coffee shop to report on what I'm drinking today. And most commendably of all, she is well aware that I do not do interviews, and doesn't nag me about it continuously. In the past, I always stood behind her at tea parties, sword at the ready. But now, I get to sit at the table, and enjoy the tea and treats along with her. <laughs> I'm now beginning to understand why she complains all the time about how hard it is to maintain her physique. Navia's been in a good mood lately. It seems like every other day she's asking me to join her at Tabletop Troop for a new script. The story is always so different. Save for the few times when I've taken the role of Game Master, I often play in character and join her on the adventure. But I do try to avoid playing any characters from the court, so as not to make the atmosphere too... serious. No one is in any doubt as to the Udex's authority. He always delivers a fair verdict, and when necessary, I will reiterate the fairness of this verdict with my sword. Ah, yes, Captain Chevrus. That's a name I've heard before. She's been landed with lawsuits on several occasions after being accused of using excessive force when arresting culprits. She refuted the allegations just as forcefully during her testimony, leaving the plaintiff speechless. I think she's outstanding. I have to applaud the great magician for the level of professionalism he displays in his craft. If I ever have the time, I would very much like to enjoy one of his shows as a regular audience member. One day, I received a parcel containing a miniature mechanical toy and a thank you card. The toy was exquisitely made. I must thank Mr. Fremenet in person when I get the opportunity. Hmm? The opportunity may be hard to come by, you say. Hmm, very well. Then I too shall write a thank you card. Please pass it on to him for me. I've bought clothes from her store before. They're good quality. But most of the time, I prefer to wear my work uniform. Partly because it serves to clearly communicate my identity, and partly because I like things that are familiar. Just like my sword, this uniform is familiar and functional. I have no desire to change it. Managing the Fortress of Meripede is no mean feat. Ridesley is undoubtedly a highly capable person if he can maintain relative stability in a place like that. <sighs> I highly suspect that he keeps quiet about some of the methods he uses, but there's no way we can know. Miss Sijuin is an excellent nurse, equally adept at treating the injured and comforting the distressed. I'm sure that her kind and loving nature brings out what little good there may be, even in the vilest offenders of the Fortress of Meripede. And maybe... That just might serve as enough of a motivation for them to change their ways. I've heard that she's a perfumer. I've also heard a little about her true profession. Hmm. I saw her out on the street once. She was stroking a little dog and had a gentle smile on her face. We nodded at each other, then each went our separate ways.